Megaview με έναν εκλεκτό καλεσμένο, έναν άνθρωπο που έχει ξεχωρίσει στη Wall Street και θεωρείται ο νεότερος CEO, the youngest CEO in Wall Street. Hello, Mr. Kudunis, how are you? Good, how Good are you? you? Nice to meet you. Pleasure, nice to meet you. you are Greek and you made us proud. Well, thank you very much. I have to check your Greek uh, language <laughs> skills. <laughs> well, Milan, how is your Greek? Είναι καλά? Έτσι και έτσι. Προσπαθά. Προσπαθείς. Ναι. You are married to a Greek woman, Greek-American woman. Yes. Uh, and you have two kids. Yes. You live between New York and Chicago. Correct. And um, uh, how, what's the secret of your success? I mean, you have made so much. Um, well, um, I guess a lot of hard work. Yes. Some luck. Um, at least in business, I think um, one of the most important things is to surround yourself uh, with people that are good. Don't be afraid to hire people that are as good, if not better than you. Um, and be a, a leader that's in the front of the line, not in the back of the line. And I think that really uh, more of a player coach type of uh, person has, uh, has been very successful formula for me. Wall Street is the most competitive place in the world. Is that true? Um, that's what they say, yes. And uh, it's, it's, it's not easy, but it's, uh, it's a great place to learn the business. And uh, uh, they say if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere, like uh, Frank Sinatra. Exactly. Uh, what drove you to, to the finance, to, to this business, to make deals, like billions and millions deals? Well, when I was in college, um, my parents, I was the first male in my family to actually go to college. And uh, my parents uh, being Greek, well, my mom was born in Greece and my dad in Chicago, but uh, his parents were uh, from, from, uh, from, from Greece. Greece as well, well both from uh, Sparti. So I'm Spartiates both, both ways. Um, they wanted me to be a doctor, get educated, be a doctor. And uh, my beginning of my sophomore year at Brown, um, I started to see where some of the brightest kids at that time, they were all going to Wall Street. And so it, it piqued my interest as to what is this Wall Street? And um, after going to a lot of seminars in the Career Center and whatnot, I realized well, this is very interesting to me. You have been to Greece and you have met uh, our uh, Prime Minister. And wh what's your uh, perception about the Greek economy right now? Do you see the light in the tunnel? Well, uh, yes, I do. I think we're better off than we were a couple of years ago. I made a couple of trips and met uh, with um, the Prime Minister Samaras, and I have gone with other very distinguished CEOs um, and former presidents. I was there with uh, President Clinton and um, uh, also with Steve Forbes. And we, we spoke about the economy, and, and uh, they had asked us for some suggestions. And I was, uh, they were fantastic in terms of listening and trying to um, figure this out. It's very difficult. Uh, the country has been running in a way for 40 years, and it's been writing checks that it can't cash. And uh, these austerity measures that uh, the IMF and World Bank of, of the body, which I'm actually a part of, uh, are very difficult for a country like this, for people that haven't paid taxes ever, a lot of them, who are younger. Um, and especially in times like this when the money's tough to put a uh, tax that's so high on them. So it's very difficult, and, uh, and the problem is, is that a lot of the people are very dis discouraged, and they're looking for alternatives, whether it be socialism, communism, or whatnot, thinking that that may be their way out. And hopefully, that does not happen, because I think uh, uh, the Prime Minister is doing a, a really good job in, under these very difficult um, circumstances, and hopefully, uh, he can continue to do this for a while yes. to get through some of this. And I think we're starting to see investment in there, and uh, we're starting to see some uh, uh, foreigners, not just Americans, but the Chinese and other people, start to invest, which is a good sign that there's confidence in the country and that hopefully that it'll turn around. You know many prominent Greeks, Greek Americans in the States. Is there something in the Greek genes, you think, that make all these people succeed? Um, I'd like to say yes, and I think that um, um, I think I'm very proud. Because they all come from families, usually, that, you know, they, they were striving to survive in the States. I, I, um, I'm very proud to be Greek, and I think that um, the Greek people are passionate about what they do uh, in whatever field you're in. And I think that uh, they're very bright, and uh, if you look at there's a lot of self-made, very successful people, um, and I don't know if it's because they have a ch chip on their shoulder or whatnot, but um, I know that 
as a kid and what's been installed in me is if that person can do it, you know, you can do it too. And I think that the Greeks actually take that in and, and really believe it, and I know that I do. And I think that's been a big part of why Greeks are successful. You have met many uh, important people in this life, like Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, Christine Lagarde. Uh, would you like to say a few things about each one? All of them are very, very interesting in, in their own likes. Um, I think what Bill Gates is doing in terms of his philanthropy and trying to cure polio, for instance, uh, and wipe it out from the entire world, and what he's doing in Africa is it's just fantastic. It, it's nice to see in the common denominator in a lot of these people that um, they're just, the, whether he's the richest man in the world or uh, he's very philanthropic um, and genuine about that. And it's nice to see that um, having the brains and the situation that he's in um, is God-given and then he can give back. So I think that's fantastic. Uh, Christine Lagarde I, I, is, uh, is a wonderful... Does she love Greece? <laughs> she does. She's a, uh, but, you know, she also has a job to do. <laughs> and um, job she's, to do. she's a very, very, very intelligent uh, lady um, and a uh, very pleasant lady. And um, uh, she's in, in a tough situation being the head of the, uh, the IMF. It's, it's very difficult when you yeah. have everybody pulling at yourself and, and there's some people writing checks and some have people Have you tried aren't. to influence here? towards Greece, I mean, to be more... Whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> you live in Chicago and you, you're doing a great charity work over there. With we uh, try. a museum and um, an event that it's, it's coming. Um, yeah, yeah, that's great. Thank you for asking. Um, I sit on the board of the National Hellenic Museum um, and Mr. John Kalmos is the chairman, uh, who's a prominent uh, money manager, um, probably one of the most successful money managers in the world. And uh, the Hellenic Museum, the National Hellenic Museum, is actually in Chicago. And we're going to be doing a, uh, our annual gala coming in May, and I'm, I'll be chairing that, or court chairing that. Um, and one of the nice things about it this year is uh, we are sponsoring uh, an exhibit at the Field Museum, and that's where the gala is going to be. We're bringing the biggest, uh, most antiquities ever to leave Greece and they're accumulating them from, I think, 11 different museums around Greece, and they're putting them together for a show um, in Washington, D.C., um, in Chicago, and I believe in Toronto as well. And we're one of the only uh, museums that are doing that, and we're helping finance and sponsoring that. Um, and so in, in conjunction with that, we're going to have a big um, gala uh, come in May. So, with Greek music? Uh, <laughs> absolutely Greek music, yes. <laughs> Επιστροφή εδώ στο Μεγαβιού με τον Τζον Κουδούνη και χτυπάω το κουδούνι <laughs> για ένα πολύ ωραίο παγωτό, ένα πολύ ωραίο Greek frozen yogurt, το οποίο έρχεται κατευθείαν από την Ελλάδα στι Ηνωμένε Πολιτείε, άνοιξε απέναντι ακριβώ από το Blooming Tales και είναι γευστικότατο. Would you like to try it? Οπωσδήποτε. <laughs> ναι. It's unbelievable. It's great. Στο chill box. Δεν είναι μόνο στην Αμερική. Delicious. Ναι, έχει ανοίξει στην ε, Αυστρία, στην Ουγγαρία, στην Τουρκία, στην Κύπρο. Βρίσκεται σε πολλέ ευρωπαϊκέ χώρε και τώρα και στι Ηνωμένε Πολιτείε. Θα ανοίξουν και άλλα καταστήματα, βέβαια. How do you feel when you see Greek companies like the Chill Box, you know, coming to the US, opening stores? Isn't it amazing? It's fantastic and you know, it helps, helps Greece and uh, it helps bring money in uh, when these companies do well. And it also uh, it helps the awareness for other people that want to invest in Greece. Lovely, thank you. Did you, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's very good. Delicious. It's very good. So tasty. And you can tell it's, it's Greek. Greek <laughs> cover. It's a distinct taste, which is fantastic. That's why it's, it's taken off. Τέλεια, τέλεια. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ που είσαστε εδώ. Thank you so much. You speak Harika. Greek so well, oh, but your English that, but... is impeccable. Ήταν πολύ ωραίο που κάναμε αυτήν την κουβέντα στα αγγλικά με όλους τους οικονομικούς όρους. Να είστε καλά. Σας ευχαριστούμε που ήσασταν κοντά μας. Mega View τέλος για σήμερα. Μείνετε συντονισμένοι πάντα στο πολύ ωραίο πρόγραμμα του Mega Cosmos και φυσικά στα επόμενα επεισόδια Mega View.